taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! I'll take the large one. An excellent. Ah, oh, good. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Good. Just tell us what happened. It's me traders pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. Peaches and pears. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's me mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. 
Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Out of my sight, you wretch! Jug of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the crystal. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and Louise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know, then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? To the Dominion. Life will be different there. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Come taste my peaches! They're sweet as Excuse me. 
Do you mind if I ask you something? I can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. See a boy run past. He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but. Thank you. some questions fine not like I've got a choice I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them who are they call themselves the car stones they said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me I knew they were bad but bro doesn't come for free didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them you know if I didn't do it they just pick on someone else someone they could push around easier Hunter. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. 
You... Him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... <laughs> Don't hurt him! <laughs> making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> uh, Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore. What do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Boklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I had been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stone, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. We find the cast stones, and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right, then. All right, then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. No, you better not have scared any of my birds. in our business. You should have 
Today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural ball ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Bokland! Kill him! Kill them all! And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, 
Be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Clive, how goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. <laughs> so it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly, would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... nine million? We'll... try the caravan.
Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. 